these days, everybody's making films, right? They, on their phone, they get it out of their pocket, press record, off they go. In the old days, when film first started, film used to be put onto stuff like this. Actually, film. That's why it's called film. And if you could see this, it's made up of hundreds of little, hundreds of little photographs just on, on a strip of film. And then when you play that back, you, you see it as animation. It's one of the first films ever made. And it, well, it doesn't have any sound. What's going on here? I'll tell you what. Let's watch it again, but this time I'll play the piano at the same time. Oh, I see. It seems like everybody's pretty excited about some new idea that this guy with a beard on the left-hand side has had. Let's see what happens if I try something different on the piano. On second thoughts, maybe they're having an argument. It shows us the power that music has to change the way we see something or feel about something. And back in the old days, when cinema and film, they didn't have any music, so they'd bring a piano into the theatre and a piano player would sit down and play it. And if there was a chase, let's say, on the screen, the music would be frantic to go along with that chase, a bit like this. A magician would be mysterious and strange And in love, some slushy romantic music. Well, perhaps she didn't feel quite the same way about him. These days, music's everywhere, isn't it? from the big films, of course, Star Wars, Disney films with all those songs, right through to computer games, YouTube, TV shows. You can't get away from music because it's there to strengthen people's ideas so that the audience can really get into the story, really get into the action. And when it's at its best, those moving pictures and the music, you can't separate them. They're like two sides of the same coin. And you, the audience, are just being told a story.